The family says police told them the man she'd been on a date with called police to report that she died. What they told them next broke their hearts. Twenty-nine-year-old Asia Maynard was a loving individual and a mother of four. She loved to cook and was deeply caring and protective of her family. According to an account from her cousin, the following sequence of events took place. Asia had gone out with a man by the name of Isaiah Crown that she met earlier in the week. She had plans to go on a date with him, but he originally canceled because he needed a babysitter. At the last minute, he found someone to watch his child and decided to follow through with the initial date arrangement. Asia called her cousin to tell her that she was going out on a date with Isaiah and that she would come over after the date. However, that never occurred. Asia didn't return to her cousin's home or her own home. Her family was also unable to get in contact with her through phone. This was strange, as Asia was never known to just up and leave her four children. The next morning on the 19th, Isaiah calls the police and tells them that she wasn't feeling well and found her lying down. He rolled her over to see if she was still alive and realized her body was stiff. The police then came to retrieve her body from his home while leaving her vehicle. It wasn't until the 20th at about 2.30 p.m. that police decided to report her missing and identify her as deceased. The family has spent the previous 24 hours already calling them and reporting her missing, with police sharing no information regarding the incident. After the fact, they also failed to disclose where she was found or who she was found with. According to a Facebook post made by her sister, Asia's body was already cleared and ready for a funeral home to pick up. The family never got the chance to officially identify her, and police stated that she was identified through fingerprints. They claimed there was no way for them to get in contact with any of her family because she didn't have any updated information in the system. In the words of her sister, they could have ran her license plates, which would have been attached to an address. They also stated that she lived in Kansas City, which is false information. She was young and she was strong, and there was no reason that she should be dead, but she was found dead over the weekend. The family says more needs to be done. How did a seemingly healthy mother of four die? That's what Asia Maynard's family desperately wants to know. She's only 29. 29, you're not dying of natural causes. Maynard's sister Tara says on Friday she was supposed to see her sister. She called me Friday at 10 or 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And she was telling me that, hey, I met a new friend. I'm going on a date. I was going to stop by, but I'll just come by tomorrow. They never heard from Asia Maynard again. After Friday, she never called. She never showed up. And that's not like her. So th another day goes by. I said something's not right. It wasn't sitting right with my spirit. Tara Maynard called police to file a missing persons report. Maynard says investigators told her she would probably get in touch with them soon. However, quickly they learned police already knew where she was. Saturday morning they found my sister deceased. The family says police told them the man she'd been on a date with called police to report that she died. What they told them next broke their hearts. We're going to say that natural this causes. she died of natural causes because there was no foul play. I feel like they're rushing the investigation. The family says police are looking into what happened. KCPD says they are investigating her death, but there are no signs of foul play at this time. When she got to the funeral home and we viewed the body, body. she had blood, blood in her and eyes and her, her ears, ears and her, her her clothes, clothes were saturated, saturated with blood. blood. Asia's family has far more questions than peace, and answers are what they need the most. I want justice done if he did it. Please, in the name of Jesus, I know God's seen everything, and we just want people to listen to us. They have said that although they are waiting for the toxicology report, they believe she died from natural causes. And because of that, there will be no further investigation. And because there was no further investigation, they decided not to provide the family with further information. According to outside resources, Isaiah Crown is responsible for other overdoses and deaths in his community. His own family has also gone to the police and admitted that they are aware of these cases he has been involved in. One former classmate of his said he is responsible for up to seven other overdose cases. A source spoke to numerous former friends of Isaiah, including his former roommate. Here's what he had to say. First off, usually I wouldn't say anything. 
In my friend circle, we usually don't talk like this or nothing because it's considered snitching. The only reason I'm saying this is because my friend died and now this lady died. One of the reasons I'm speaking out is because I also overdosed and nearly died because of him. I was laying on the ground, barely breathing, almost dead. While the ambulance was on the way, he wasn't helping me. He was hiding the stuff. He kept selling the same pills even after our friend died and after I overdosed. Every day I think about our friend. I can't even look his mom in the face. What he's giving people is not what he's telling them. Me, him, and our friend all lived together. We were all hanging out. For this to happen again after a friend dying because of Isaiah's laced stuff, for him to keep giving these to these people, it's just no. He's definitely trying to make it known that nobody told you to do this. I blocked his number, but he must have gotten a new phone or something because he reached out from a new number and said that to me just a few days ago after this most recent incident. This kid, Isaiah, me and him go back, but I had to say something. My fiance begged me to say something too. When our friend died because of him, we felt like nobody was trying to listen to what we were saying about him. Somebody has to be held accountable and responsible. We lived together for a whole year. We partied and did all types of drugs together, but then he started hurting people. It's like our lives never mattered to him. An ex-friend of Isaiah reported the following. I knew Isaiah. We went to school together. We all used to hang out with my friend Louie, who passed away because of Isaiah. He is the reason why Louie is not here. I was letting the family know that he is the cause. It's not just my friend that this has happened to. It's multiple friends of ours. Louie passed away from an overdose of fentanyl. He received the pills from Isaiah. He is very well known in the whole Independence and Kansas City area for this. Everyone knows not to go around him and to just stay far away from him. He doesn't really care about anyone except for himself. He actually showed his face at Louis's funeral for just like five minutes, and everyone was shocked that he would even show his face there because he knew what he did. After he showed up, we were all questioning why he would do that to his friend. He was in denial and everything, but he told us that he was going to keep selling them because he didn't want to waste the $300 that he spent on them. Other people died from the pills after as well. Those people were mostly his friends who were older. It's just like more and more people who go around him end up dying. The police did not investigate the situation with Louis at all. He was left at a party. Everyone just left him there to die. Another ex-friend stated, he is definitely aware that he has been responsible for people's deaths. The money and the fun. I feel like he actually has fun from hurting people. He doesn't have any morals. His son would be in the other room crying for him. He would just turn the music up a little bit louder. He just has no morals and no feelings. He definitely knows what he's doing. He's not blind to it. The more he gets away with it, the more he gets satisfaction out of it. He definitely is aware of what he is doing by now. Asia's family, friends, and hundreds of Kansas City community members are speaking out to say that without a doubt, Racism and carelessness of Black lives is at play and can explain why Kansas City Police Department performed virtually no investigation of her death and took so long to notify the family of her death or to rigorously investigate the last person known to have been in her company, Isaiah Crown. This wouldn't be the first time that a Black woman has been killed following a date with a sketchy white man. In fact, her case is nearly identical to the national story of Lawrence Smith Fields. Similar to the Smith Fields case, as well as that of Brenda Lee Rawls, another Bridgeport woman who died on the same day as Lawrence Smith Fields after going out on a date with a strange man. The KCPD officers and detectives who are leading Asia's case should be immediately fired for their negligence and for covering up Asia's death, as well as for failing to pursue Isaiah and stop him from murdering more people. The case is currently being considered a death investigation and not a homicide.